Hey everybody! Welcome to my new office space. <laughs> we are trying out the new chair today. We're trying out how the space works, the lighting works. So this one's a little um, not quite there yet. That's okay. We're gonna get there. So trying out my new office space. My desk is coming Wednesday, but I wanted to already start getting comfortable here and I wanted to check out my chair. I've really even sat in it because my desk isn't here yet. So um, this is going to be a really quick tutorial today. I am going to show you all things blush. Spring is coming. It's beautiful today. The sunlight is, sunshine has just been what we all needed um, around here. I don't know about your house, but we needed sunshine. So I'm, I'm going to talk all things blush. I've got three different options to show everybody. I'm going to show you what I do. Talk a little about face shape and um, putting your blush in the right place when you're um, applying it. And a couple different brush options. Show you what I use and what you could use um, also. Um, when you jump on, anybody out there, please comment with a one, say hi, chit chat. Um, if this is replay for you, please comment with a two so I can come back, see your comments, and uh, chat with you also. Okay, I have a little mirror set up down here so I can kind of see what I'm doing um, because it's kind of hard to do on a phone. But we have three options um, with Synogens that I've used all three. I love all three and I bounce between them actually depending on what my eye makeup is. Um, kind of usually dictates what I use color wise for my blush. So I did all my makeup except for blush today. I did do a little contouring with our bronze blush scents, um, which I've been loving the babies on the floor. Um, hopefully this is a better spot for him also. Um, I've been loving our bronzer, well bronze blush scents for contouring, get my skin a little color. I'm craving sunshine and color on my skin. Um, and then you always want pretty rosy cheeks and that can change, like I said, depending on what my eyes look like, it changes what my cheeks look like also. So the three options that I have and rotate through would be our blush scents which is this little guy. This one is chocolate cherry. It, this comes in, of course I don't have a beauty book in front of me, um, quite a few colors. Um, you can always get on my website and look at all the colors or ask me for a beauty book and I'm always happy to send you one out. Um, this is a cream, like a cream to powder, um, long lasting, smudge proof, awesomeness in a little bottle for blush. Um, and I'm gonna apply one, um, this one on one cheek. And then the other option that I use quite often is actually our eyeshadow. Because our eyeshadow is a creamy powder, um, cream to powder formula, I really like it as blush also. And I flip flop between these two. These two are the colors that I have, pink, posy, and mulberry. Mulberry is definitely lighter, but I'm gonna show you the third option. And so when I want a little bit of a lighter, just like this, it's very similar to the chocolate cherry. Um, when I want something a little bit lighter because I'm going to put our third option which is silver rose powder on top. So if I go, <laughs> if I really want something subtle, I won't put anything on top of it. If I want something with a little shimmer to it because these are a matte, um, then I'm going to use our silver rose on top. So I'm going to show you both options. I'm going to do one on each cheek and um, to show you how they, they look and then, um, I'm going to put this on top because I want that little bit of glow to my cheeks. Now it is important the shape of your face that's going to determine where you put your blush. So it's important you're on, on your cheekbones but you don't want to get too high that you're up in your eyes and you don't want to get too low that you're down here. This is more where you're going to contour. This is where I put the bronzer is right under my cheekbones. So see you can see right here where it cuts in. This is this is where I want to put blush, which is right above that. Um, I saw a great rule of thumb for applying your your blush is to put your finger here, and this is where you want to start. So that <laughs> if you're if you feel like you're always getting maybe into here, um, I don't want blush all the way up into here. So having your finger and knowing where to start. I mean, you don't have to hold your finger here while you apply it, but 
it's a good place to realize where you want your blush to come into. Um, and and I take it all the way back to my hairline and I actually start there. So I'm gonna show you. I said somebody's on, but I'm not, it's not popping anything up. So if you're on, say hi quick. Um, these are three different brush options. Um, this is the most common one. This is actually an angled face brush. Um, it has a little bit of an angle to it, as you can see. And I like it because it keeps stuff from getting too high. I feel like I have more control. I put a little more product on the bottom and I feel like it blends the top really well. And I feel like I just have more control with this one. And I also use it for my bronzer. I put it, just put it way down towards the bottom so I can kind of get that right angle and blend it up. This is just a plain round fluffy brush. It's pretty dense though. Um, this, these ones, it's just as a round face brush. These ones were from Amazon. Um, so I don't have like a name brand or anything for you, but any, this is a really dense round brush and I use this just for blush also. It's a great size cause it's about the width that you want your blush. Then I've used this one more for powder. If you have a powder blush, do yourself a favor. Don't use the little brush that comes with your, your powder blush. I've bought that stuff before. That brush does nothing for you. Invest in a little bit bigger brush. This one is not as wide and I liked that because again, you want to really control where you're putting it. You don't want your blush to take up half your face. That's not the point of it. The point is to bring out the rosiness in your pretty little cheeks. So you want to be able to focus right on this area. This is also a good one um, that I've, I've actually dumped out some powder and applied it with and I really like this one. It's just a taller, um, it's fluffier than the other ones. It's not as dense of a brush and I just like the width of it for really um, doing it. And I can actually show you how I use this one with the powder. Um, so let's start, I'm gonna start with our blush scents and I'm gonna do one cheek. And I, you don't need much at all. See, I do like tiny little dabs is basically what's on the end of this. And again, I kind of like this idea. <laughs> it's basically just snug up your finger next to your nose and you know where to come into. But I start at the back here. I start back here and pull in. Because you don't want all your color concentrated on the front. De now, depending on your face, I am going to drop a graphic um, after I get off, I'm going to drop a couple graphics in this feed so you can look, um, look back and it talks about, I found some that are great examples of your face shape and the best place to put your blush according to your shape to give you, to complement, I guess is what the word I'm looking for, to complement your face shape. So start at your hairline and go all the way into that hairline because you don't want it to roughly stop just like your foundation and have a weird space there. So Pat and blend and bring it inwards. Do you see? This is not that dark. Um, this is really light, which I like. Sometimes I want it a little rosier, so a little more color. That's where I would switch it up and use like the pink posy. That's a little more um, pink. But this is, or you know, there's other blush scents also, I guess. These are just what I use. <laughs> But there's, there's quite a few blush scents colors. Um, I've used the cherry for that smoky eye, pink smoky eye. I've used the cherry. Now, this is mulberry. I'm going to do it on this other cheek. And they're very similar again. They're very similar, but they blend a, a little bit different. The blush scents isn't as creamy as the eyeshadow. So, you don't need much. And it might even have too much here. Start back here. See it? Start back at your hairline and blend it forward. You don't want to get too close here. Watch where I have really high cheekbones. I mean like the top of my cheekbones, I've got high cheekbones. But I want more on my cheekbones. So if I want a highlight, I bring the highlight up in here. Hello, I think that's Lauren. It's not showing anything today and I'm not sure. I don't know if I turned off comments. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I guess I made, well, they're just not really product. But bring it, bring it in. Just watch how closely you're getting it to your nose. You don't want to bring your product all the way into here. You want to keep it out. Oh, there you are. Hi, Lauren. So, 
blush scents on this side and chocolate cherry mulberry shadow scents on this side. The awesome thing, the awesome thing about shadow scents is, is they're so multifunctional. My light's gonna get weird. The sun's turning. This might not be the best lighting set. <laughs> we might need to work on this. Anyways, check out the chair. Lauren, I know you'll appreciate the chair. Yes, this is where the new desk is going. So this is, I'm feeling out my space. Like this is my couch <laughs> next to me here. This little thing is my couch. And um, my dining room table is right here. And my wedding pictures are up there, but they're gonna be family pictures soon. I'm gonna change those out. And I'm hoping to paint so it's not gray, so I have a better background and I'm hoping that helps my wife. So this is just, we're feeling out the space. My desk is supposed to be here Wednesday. Okay, so <laughs> the chair is so awesome. Um, so those are two options for blush. Um, they're cream to powder, they're gonna stay all day, they're not gonna run, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're fantastic. Now, they're matte, so there's no sparkle shimmer, and I know a lot of gals like a little sparkle and a little shimmer on their cheeks, um, which I do too. So what I do is I use our silver rose powder, and you can use this by itself too. And you don't have to layer things, but I tend to layer things. That's just how I like it. So when you get one of these, you're gonna have to prime it, which is basically, till the product comes out. And you'll see it on the end here. And then this comes down and locks into place. Okay, Lauren, don't get crazy. <laughs> we'll see if I actually get the thing just painted in one color, okay? I would love to do crazy, but this is not a forever home yet. In the forever home, I like what you're thinking. Okay, so this has a little bit of shimmer on here. Now this brush is a little bristly and that would be why I would dump some out and use a different brush. I also got fuzzies on it. But I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the same place that I did the blush. <laughs> and it's just gonna add, I have my mirror here because I can't see what I'm doing. Because sometimes this thing comes out. Oh yeah, there's some shimmer there. Okay, so you can add a bunch. I'm gonna knock stuff over. Um, or just a little bit. Not sure why this is tilting now. Don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. So you can apply it just with this. Add the perfect amount. I like that this brush is small to get right where I want it. And I just go right where I had applied it already. Or what I'll do also, you can take this little cap off. It twists out. See the product in there. I set the base of it down. Now these are 50 for the powders and I use the natural as a setting powder and there's the bronze which I'm gonna open here shortly. I've been using the um, other bronze so that's why I didn't open the powder. But there's a bunch. I mean, you're gonna get so much out of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit and apply it. It's so subtle but it just highlights your cheekbones as the perfect amount of pink. It's great when I wanna do a quick five minute face. This is my go-to for blush. I throw mascara on, I throw concealer and foundation on, and this silver rose blush goes right here. So two ways to apply it. Now this side's a little darker because of what colors are used. But options for blush, brushes, tips and tricks. Might have learned something new. I don't know how you guys apply your blush. Feel free to comment. Um, and then I'm gonna drop some graphics to show you, I should probably even out my cheeks a little bit. <laughs> not that anybody will notice. I'm not going anywhere. Um, to show you a couple ideas on your face shape. Now that can definitely change how you apply your makeup from a heart shape, which I believe mine would be considered a heart shape because of this wonderful hairline thanks to my dad um so I'd have more of a heart shape I suppose um if your face is square oval circle um if you need help with that let me know if you want different color options please let me know um our beauty book that has everything you can also get on my website which is thenigence.com slash farm with pretty and everything is on there um but I love blush and it's getting to be spring and pink rosy cheeks and I use the pink on my eyes and I'm loving all things pretty and light pink. So, any questions, let me know. My baby is about done here. He's laying on sheepskin rug. <laughs> so, 
Um, but yep, thought I'd try out the new space today, see how we feel about it. Super excited to get my desk. I'll keep you all posted. And um, yeah, so there's today's look. Simple and easy. So I'm gonna just like hang out here on my couch in my comfy chair and enjoy the quiet that's going on in my house right now. So I will chat with y'all later this week. Bye.